Hey, what's up guys? This is Atone here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn a logo like this one into a logo like this one, okay? So this is very useful if you're going to be doing something where you just want the outline and you don't want anything getting in the way of it, like say you're filling this in or something, because obviously you can't fill it in over there. So yeah, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that and yeah pretty much the steps you take to turn this logo if you guys don't know I'm a member of the same militia so this is our clans logo converted and I actually had to convert this just a second ago that's why I'm using this one for example so now I'm gonna I'm gonna convert the soar logo for you guys soar gaming so yeah let's do this first of all I'm gonna zoom in here so you guys can see it a little bit sorry this logo is a little choppy but I just kind of I don't know I just grabbed the first one I kind of saw. Okay, so the first thing you want to ah, gonna want to do, okay, is make sure this is black, okay. Next, you're gonna want to double click on the layer that the logo is on. Double click. Drag this out of the way here. You're gonna want to click Inner Glow. Then you're gonna click Center. Opacity up all the way. I click, I go to white just to make it easier. And then what you're going to want to do, a lot of people don't know this and I don't know why it's like this, but it's actually a backwards for the size. So for sides, the more you drag it, the smaller it gets. So but first what I'm going to do is click, um, okay, just a second here. I'll click this to normal, precise, and choke. Uh, Okay, I'm trying to remember. Okay, so yeah. You're going to turn your choke up all the way so that it's not soft at all. See, it looks kind of choppy, but that's just because of the logo. Um, so inner glow, opacity up all the way, normal, center, precise, choke at 100 size is you can change to whatever your preference is anything below like 16 is kind of going to look really bad so i'd stay in that kind of area um personally i like about an eight or maybe like a six or so depending on what you're doing but yeah let's just put it at a seven just to kind of have a happy medium there so now you're going to click okay so now you can clearly see that you have your outline here it looks bad, but um, as you can see in this one, it looks very nice. So yeah, now let's get back into the tutorial here. So you're gonna create another layer over this. Control click to um, select both of them. Right click, merge layers. Now you're going to take your magic wand tool, okay? Select the white section of the logo. Then you're gonna hold shift if you have to to click the other section just so you have the whole thing you're gonna go to your eraser tool and this is probably a little big for this but then you're gonna make sure the hardness is at 100% and your opacity is at 100% as well then you're just gonna erase so that's just pretty much taking out that white out of the logo and as you can see now we have this sore logo and it's just the outline so that's it for the tutorial if you guys want I'll show you quick how to change the color of this outline if you don't know already so you create a new layer hold alt and go in between the two lines as you can see here and click that's gonna make it so it only shows up on that layer then you're just gonna like paint bucket in whatever color you want I'll go with a dark green and yeah you're able to do this whatever way you want to so I hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing because I'm a very um, new, you could say, YouTuber. My channel's been up for a little bit, but I haven't uploaded in a while. That's going to change. I'm trying to think of new ideas to, um, new ideas for videos. So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. 
If you did, please share it on any social media you have and subscribe. This has been its own here, and peace out. Mm -hmm.